Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to do the story for this unit. Go ahead and go to Google and sign in if you haven't already. Once you're signed in, go to the apps in the upper right corner and choose Drive. Go ahead and open up your classroom folder. What you're going to be opening now is called Switch Zoo Story. Because I like to look at my image while I write my story, I'm going to click in front of the title and choose Insert Image. I'm going to choose an image to upload. I will go to that computer class folder on the desktop, go to the Switch Zoo Unit folder, and open up my animal. Once it's loaded, I can make it a little smaller. I don't need it that large. And I'm going to go ahead and select it and choose Wrap Text. I will start answering the questions on the left. I can combine some of the words to make up my animal's name and came up with Arctic Gems Wolf. So I'm going to go ahead and start off this unique and very interesting animal is known as the Arctic Gems Wolf. So once you answer the question, you can go ahead and delete it. What is it made up of? I listed it has the head of an arctic wolf, the body of a bison, the legs of a gemsbok, and the tail of a collared lizard. So I'll go ahead and delete that question. When answering where it lives, I'm going to go ahead and get an idea based on the background of this animal. Since I did start off with the bison, it probably picked the terrain of where the bison come from. Here is what I came up with. It can be found in the mountainous regions of Canada in the northern United States. I'll go ahead and erase that question to stay organized. What does it eat? Well, since the head is of an arctic wolf, I'm going to go ahead and get some facts for this story. Now, if you look up here, there's a link. It says you can get facts about certain animals by clicking on this link. So I will click on the link and then go to the website. I will do control F and type in arctic and there it is, arctic wolf. I will go to that site and look at the diet. Now you can go ahead and temporarily copy that by selecting it and doing control C of your keyboard and going back to the story. I'm not going to plagiarize, I just want to have reference to this information. After rewriting it, I put it is a carnivore, which means it eats meat. They are known to eat caribou, oxen, birds, seals, and lemmings. I did reword it and I did not put it in the same order or exact words. I'll go ahead and delete that again because you don't want to be plagiarizing. So I'll delete what does it eat. You will continue to answer these questions. You could pick any of the animals to determine what its predators are. You could go back to that site, do control F and type in bison and find out what the predator of the bison is. So as you can see the predator of the bison are gray wolves, coyotes, grizzly bears, and humans. So you can continue with this process of gathering fact with fiction. When looking at the question, how does it protect itself from predators, I'm going to consider how fast the gems buck can run. So I'm going to go ahead and hopefully get some information about its speed, because that might be how it will escape predators. So I'll go back to that link and do control F and type in gems buck and try to find some information about how fast it can run. I found no information about how fast the Gemsbok can run. You're welcome to go to the internet and research that question. So I added they can run as fast as 37 miles per hour. I do want you to make the story realistic. I also want you to be as creative as possible with your story. You don't have to go back and forth to this website for every single answer. Just get some of your ideas from there so that you can learn some interesting facts along the way. For the question, how much does it weigh? Since the bulk of the animal is from the bison, I would go back and do control F and type in bison and hopefully get some weight. If not, I could just make up some random number, make it realistic. They weigh 1,200 to 1,800 pounds. So I'll go back because again, it's not mostly bison and maybe list that they can weigh as much as 900 pounds. I might specify that the male, because usually males weigh more than females. So I will add those differences in the story. From this point forward, you can go ahead and just make up information, but do be somewhat realistic. How long can your animal live? You're not going to put that it lives 200 years. That's not realistic. 
I would guess probably close to 20 years in the wild and maybe 30 in captivity. Now notice that I get to the question how fast can it run? I've already addressed that so I will go ahead and delete that question and not repeat myself. Once you finish your story, go ahead and select your story and right click and choose copy or control C of your keyboard. You're then going to go to this last link, the readability site, click on that link and then go ahead and paste your story by clicking control V and then you can see if you scroll down over on the right, it tells you how many words you have. Word count 229. I have met my word count for this unit. I would encourage you not to go much higher than that because when you record your story, you might not be able to upload it to the Vokey because there's a limit on time. This concludes the session on how to do the writing piece of the story. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.